Hi, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing very, very well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Gemini. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Cut those again. Okay. Okay, first two cards I'm going to choose the awareness for the week. Let's stretch down here. Okay. Okay, the awareness of the week. Interesting. Two cards with their riders in the same direction. Hmm. So starting with the Knight of Cups. A dreamy, sensitive, kind, and romantic type of person coming your way. This could be a love offering. This could be an opportunity to meet someone. This could be an emotional connection, a spark, an attraction, something that speaks to you about someone else. So, you know, whether this is a deep friendship, whether this is a, you're single and you're looking for someone and you're dating, the Knight of Cups is someone who's sweet and sensitive and thoughtful and romantic. May not have the best follow through, but uh, the intentions are coming from an emotional place of expressing caring and consideration. So, you know, if you're in a relationship, it may be that you have a special day with your partner. Uh, you may be expressing how you feel. You may be doing something for someone. So this week's awareness is about the opportunity to either connect with someone, meet someone, or enhance an existing relationship. Chances are you're going to enjoy doing so because you're going to feel successful. The Six of Wands is a, is a card of success. He has ridden into town and people are cheering him and watching him. Perhaps they want to be like him. This Six of Wands fellow has his victory wreath and his victory laurel wreath there as well. And there's a sense that behind the scenes, there was a lot of discipline, leadership, and work involved in getting to this spot. And now it's time for you to relax and to enjoy the reward, the recognition. On a practical level for you, you may be getting a bonus, you may be getting a nice email, you may be getting a congratulations from your co-workers. There's a sense here of um, enjoying the accomplishment, being recognized for the accomplishment. Okay, so now I'm going to choose two cards for guidance. Okay, in terms of guidance, we have the star, Major Arcana. And the star brings a sense of healing and, you know, we are inspired when we wish upon a star. As we look to the stars for guidance. We look up in wonder at the stars. So here's this woman without her clothes on, pouring water into this little pond and on the ground as well. And so there's this connection between the physical sense and the emotional or spiritual self as well. 
finding the right flow between the two, being open and vulnerable and authentic to who you are, and being comfortable in your own skin this week. This is who I am, and I'm in a place of feeling better, because we often see the star after a challenging time. And I really believe that everything's going to be okay. I have faith that the universe and the stars, you know, they have a plan for me and it's going to come true. And I'm going to believe in it. I'm going to be optimistic. So the star brings optimism. So perhaps this optimism is about the potential here for relationships and success in relationships, that you have faith that ultimately you're going to have what you need in terms of relationships. And then we have the King of Swords here. And the King of Swords is a man of truth. He is a man of facts and figures and maybe legal doctrines and, you know, evaluating things, analyzing things and putting it together. He's also a heck of a problem solver. Why? Because he's focusing on the facts. He's not getting stuck in emotions. So here we're getting a sense of have faith, trust the universe, but make sure that you look for the truth in the situation, that you deal with the truth, that you're seeing what's really there, that you're relying on the information at hand. Not hearsay, not gossip, not an emotional reaction, but much more of, of a logical and rational reaction. I think he's here to tell you not to forget to do so. Now for some, perhaps this represents if you're in the dating game, you may be going out with uh, someone who's a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, an air sign. You may be dealing with a legal matter that requires attention to detail or an appearance or a signature. But it's very much a sense of the heart of the matter, the truth of a matter, cutting away the nonsense that doesn't serve you, it doesn't help you. Okay, so now we're going to choose possible outcomes. I'm gonna come down here. Okay, so two of swords, a crossroads, the fork in the road, the difficulty making a decision for you, blindfolded, arms crossed, two powerful swords. You may feel that you don't have all the facts yet. You may feel that this is not the best time to make a decision, that you're not in the right place to make a decision and perhaps you need a little more time to heal or to find the balance between the, the aspects of your life. You may just simply not want to deal with the situation right now. Thus, the blindfold. And you're kind of in this hold forth position here where, you know, nothing's coming in, nothing's going out there will be a time when you'll be ready to make a decision and this is okay. You know, everyone has to make decisions at their own pace in their own fashion. Patience or inability to make a decision here. However, we return to very favorable positive a positive card like the Ace of Pentacles, which is the universe's nudge to you, the little push to you to focus on your thoughts, your ideas, and your plan in order to build stability and prosperity and abundance. And this is the promise of abundance within your life if you are able to be a, a true pentacle where you're doing the work, you're making the plan, you're putting the plan into action, you're nurturing it and growing it. 
that you have a chance to build a firm foundation, a strong foundation. So um, perhaps through all of this work, through relationships and meeting people or enhancing relationships, you're doing everything behind the scenes that you need to do in order to build this prosperity, to build this happiness. Because this is happiness and spirituality as well as prosperity and comfort. And you're doing so because finding the balance but also believing and having faith in the outcome is going to get you here as well as cutting out the crap that doesn't help you and focusing on what is real, the facts, the figures, the plan. Is it a smart plan? Is it an intelligent plan? You may be indecisive at times. You may feel that you can't make a decision yet, and that's okay. Ultimately, you will be able to make a decision. Interesting cards for you the, for the week. Let's see what the oracle cards say for a focus area or meditation point. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Hmm. So is that what the heart wants, perhaps? My outer experiences are a reflection of what you want from the inside? This is an interesting thought. I'll have to think about it some more. Tell me what you think about this, that statement. So now let's choose a card for spirit or emotional self. Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So I, I do feel the sense of spiritual and physical connection here with the star. And it is... It is the power of the universe, the power of spirit, that builds the faith and the optimism. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you, maybe this is true and you're getting engaged or you're thinking about it. For others, take heed to your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And that may be as a result of the Knight of Cups or the Six of Wands or even the abundance of the joy of happiness and the Ace of Pentacles that you're on your way to abundance or prosperity or maybe just an unexpected windfall to maybe finding some money but really this is about the big picture of the possibility of great abundance and the prosperity this is what i have for you for the week i hope that you found something helpful here today if you did please subscribe if you haven't already like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. And have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Take care.